Sorry about that, guys. We're back now. Had a little bit of problem with my connection. I believe I got it fixed. Sorry about that guys, I had a connection issue. Looks like it's something with YouTube on my end. So I went ahead and turned YouTube off for right now. There was all sorts of banging going on inside the residence. Like there was walls being punched or <clears throat> something along those lines. Okay, so the blue Harley in the front is what he rolled up on. The lights are even still on on it. Let's see if I can get that for you guys. We're just hoping our connection stays good. Get you guys this footage. If you're just joining us, we're at a standoff on Dry Meadow and Meadow Ridge in Oildale. Apparently the story is the guy, uh evaded the police on that blue Harley that's in the yard, pulled up in the yard and ran in the house. The lights are still on on the Harley as well. Matt, how you doing? I don't got you muted. Now my connection is a little unstable, so I'm going to do the best I can to get what I can for you guys. But there are other streamers that are on scene as well, so if ours drop, don't wait for us. Get that, get that content however you can. How's the video? How's the audio, guys? Ooh. Is that tear gas? Well, he just loaded it up. I believe that's tear gas.
We have more and more sheriffs and highway patrols showing up. So we're going to try and stand this close as long as we can before they shoo us back. Hello, Cad. How you doing tonight, this evening? This is a standoff here in Oildale on Dry Middle Lane and Middle Ridge Avenue. Uh, word around the water cooler is suspect evaded police on that blue Harley that is in the yard, pulled up in the front of the residence, and went inside. When I first got on location, I snuck over as close as I could, and you could hear banging inside the house, like maybe someone was punching walls or something of that sort. Thank you for that, cat. Yeah, I was having a problem on the YouTube side and it was causing me a connection, connectivity issue, so when it dropped, I just exited out of YouTube and came back in under Facebook. I'm glad you're doing well, cat. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Hopefully everybody that's watching is enjoying and hopefully we guys we can get you guys some action. <clears throat> Hello Wendy, thanks for joining us. <laughs> it's not the worst, but it ain't the best. Right here. So the story is, my son-in-law was actually coming home. Mm -hmm. That bike was flying up the street with a CHP behind him. Which one? The, the blue one with the lights on. And he flew up in the yard, jumped off the bike, ran in the house. And when we got here, there was, I think, two or three. There was two CHP, one KCSO on scene. You know, look at it. I couldn't figure it out. It was the, it was the the COVID and they wouldn't get out of the information. It's like, man, where'd they go? So that's the house right there, guys. That's that is the 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 <clears> bike <throat> back there. You guys can see it, that blue one. The well, I'm not sure if they're spring cleaning. <laughs> Possibly. <clears throat> There's stuff all over the driveway and the yard. See this is what happens when you don't charge your phone. 
Yeah, you guys like that. Is it just a swivel? Is oh, it, yeah. It's great. I've been playing with it all day. How does it stay like, still? Watch. It's like, well, like, cool. I can't, I, I got one. I can't figure it out. Oh, watch this. This is even better. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> the only problem is, is I'm unstable right now. I go, how's this, how's this going still? <laughs> they might push us back right now. I was so, over here you know, on the corner of the fence. I, I think I was. I was hiding in right there, and he's like, hey, man, you've got to move from there. I'm like, all right. Go, where, where, where's he at? Where's he at? <laughs> I'd be like, can I just rest on top of the vehicle right there, you know? You need to get one of these. Oh. It's Ten bucks. Amazon. Tomorrow. Ours will be in. Oh, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> should buy that camera, too. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh... Well, I tried to, but Alex passed on it. Serious? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a standoff over here on uh, Meadow Ridge Avenue in Oildale. Suspect on the blue Harley that you see in the front yard eluded, evaded the police, pulled up into the yard, jumped off, ran inside. So they might push this back, guys. Uh, I really have a feeling they are. So this is probably be the best shot right here, guys. So we're waiting for him to come out. Hopefully it's not going to take that long. If they do call the Bearcat out, they will push us back, guys. That Bearcat ain't getting nowhere. There's so much junk in that yard over there right now. Oh, they'll, they'll, they'll push it all out of the way. Oh, yeah. Clean it up for them. Thank you, Kobe. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in the front yard, guys. It almost looks like an eviction or something like yeah. that. They threw everything out. Sofas. We got all kinds of stuff over there. Thanks, Pat. Anybody Appreciate looking it. For, uh, we're over here on... Uh, Dry metal. There's banging inside the house again. We're trying to bring in Attica. A metal ridge, guys, here in the oil deal. So it's a standoff right now, guys. Yeah, it's a yard sale, guys. You guys want to come out? Yeah, all kinds of stuff, guys. So, uh, is it a back of a trailer? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is my stuff. daughter. Hi, hi. Who are you guys? I'm Shonda. I'm David. Shonda and Dave. Oh, I've never <laughs> met you guys. <laughs> so. so, they were just saying, this lady over was just telling me that this guy just lost his life. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh. So, we just found out information, guys. So, this guy did uh, lose his wife, guys. So. He's going through a hard time, so. Let's see, look at the shooting. They're watching, huh? Yeah, they're watching. So there's, there's, there's Shauna right there. She's giving us the update, guys. So she's the one that told us, informed us. So he's going through a, uh, a hard time, guys. So hopefully he does come out peacefully. Do, you know, when you lose a loved one, things do go wrong, guys. Hopefully it's not a suicide by yeah. cop situation. Yes. He said, she also said that we've been going around doing red lights and stuff like that. Just oh yeah, we see, like we live the next set over and you all hear him. Yeah, that's what she was saying too. You know? So this could go wrong, guys. So he's just lost a loved one and his wife, especially his wife. Guys. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, he's Due to our current situation right with what's happening, viewer discretion is advised. This is real time, live, and we do not know exactly what's going to happen. I'm not allowed to drive right now. I've got to wait until. Um. <laughs> I 
That's a paintball gun. James is the newest one. No. My thing is, Wait, is no, I, no. I wanted yeah, to do it so that way I could get on my side of town because no one ever comes out yeah, here. Yeah, nobody wants to come out here. Hey. Foil Bill's not that it's bad. A, I know it's not that it's, bad. It's too far away out here. This is where the excitement's at, man. Come on now. Thank you, everybody who is joining us. Yeah, we won't we won't use the big camera until they push us back there. So the word is this the gentleman that's inside the house yeah, you, supposedly you, you lost his wife not that long ago. Yeah, my, uh, um, that so, so I tried. I don't know if this is the reason so, uh, for this. But hopefully uh, when I go live next time. But hopefully this uh, will be ends all peacefully. Up, yes. yes. I, do apologize. I was all excited. Well we had one here and that was Dave. But when I, I thought it was, <laughs> Yeah, they probably do know because a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, what's it called, the, the neighbors are letting us, letting us know. I'll be, I'll be hitting, I'll be hitting Dave's pipe over there in a minute. <laughs> hey, come on, give me that. <laughs> So we're over here on a standoff, guys. We're chasing this guy on the motorcycle. Uh, you guys can see it. The bike's still on. Uh, we just found out that his wife did pass away, guys. So it's, uh, he's going through a rough time right now, guys. We're on Meadow Ridge and Dry Meadow Lane. Yeah, they probably will call him out. This is a standoff. He might be suicidal. He could be gentleman was on his Harley and was running from Highway Patrol and then hopped off the Harley and ran inside. Every once in a while you'll hear banging inside the house. Yes, we're in the housing track right behind North High High School. But they do have the next guys out. One officer also has a tear gas man. So
I do. We do not know if there's any any uh, children in the house. I cannot. Thank you for that, that, Charlene. Well, they are look like they're getting ready to shoot someone in. I couldn't tell you what house. Do you know what house it is? Is it this house? It's the one with the garage door open. It does so look it, like the officers have contact with the suspect right now because they are motioning for him to come out. And also officers off to the north side have got in the uh, ready to fire stance. So they may have contact with them. I think everything from the garage is in the driveway. I think everything from the house is in the driveway and the yard. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of stuff out there. <laughs> Couches and bed of a truck. And moving the canine unit closer they might be getting ready to send a dog in they have two kcso canine units proceeding forward it looks about right albert <laughs> So they are calling them out, guys. We'll give you guys an update. So the high patrols were chasing this guy on the motorcycle. Um, right in his, yes. you can see he's Now he's, he's beating on his walls again in his house. He's beating on his walls, guys, inside. So he was, the, high, the high patrols were chasing them, guys. He was short high speed chase to his house. He ran into his house, now it's a standoff. Um, now we just got confirmation that his wife did pass away, so he's going through a hard time right now, guys. So maybe he's acting out for help, guys. So this is probably the way that he's gonna get it. And he's probably he's probably gonna call uh, the bag crisis, see if they can talk to him now. Yes, Terry. <clears throat> yes, that is correct, Terry. She lives about a mile from me. Yeah, no But hopefully, uh, They have a canine dog out right now on the yard next door. The handler is near the neighbor's house, near the garage, with an extremely long leash. They're 
asking the suspect to come out with his hands up and telling him that they do not want to hurt him. Theo, we are in the housing track right behind North High High School. On Dry Meadow Lane and Meadow Ridge Avenue. So you got two officers over there, guys, with the canine. So they might go in right now. So he's really beating his walls inside the house, guys. He does have a nice heart. You guys can see it right there. This is happening in Bakersfield, California, technically Oildale. What kind of thing do you have? For what? Oh, because I have another stand inside the car too. What are these? What are these? What are these? Right. Drop it on them. Yeah, mine will be here tomorrow. <laughs> Well, it's late there, Jeremiah. Thank you for watching. You have to stand up, Brandy. Thank you, Charlene from We're Texas. At, uh, Dry Meadows Thank you, Sam. From this area. Range. We appreciate you guys being here. In oil now. Neighbor, uh, the neighbors, the neighbors uh, informed us that his wife did pass away. Guys. So I'm gonna pan back over here, guys. You want to check, dude? No, I'm good. I think he's coming out. It looked like he, uh, all the cops had their guns on all of a sudden pulled me down and go, okay. <laughs> We like cops too, Jeremiah. We don't know if anybody's in there, guys. At all. But we just know that he did run into the house, guys. When the CHP was uh, chasing him. Now, now he's banging again. I don't know if you guys can hear. Yeah, that was pretty loud. You could hear those ones. <laughs> So I don't know what he's doing in there, guys. He might be breaking the walls. Arming himself. Yeah, he could be hurting himself in there. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, he's really banging on the walls, guys. Sounds like he's hitting something metal. I think they're going to go in for safety. You know, Jeremiah, I'm not sure if they do or not. I know at one time they were. I don't know if because of COVID they stopped or if they've restarted, if they have. That would be something you'd have to check with them. Thank you, Sam. We will.
It sounds like the gentleman inside the house is actually yelling. Can't make out what he's saying, but he is screaming in there. Thank you, Terry. It's the house with the garage door open with all the stuff in the yard and driveway. I can't be certain, but before he started banging, I, it almost sounded like he said, this will be my last ride. It is just the house that has the garage door open. It's just his front yard is taken up with his yard is taken up with a bunch of stuff. It looks like maybe cleaned out the garage, cleaned out the house, something, and it's all in his driveway and front yard. So the uh, officers have obstacles to go around to get access to them. The Harley is in the front yard. If you look right above the CHP car, you will see the blue fairing on there. The uh, like sky blue, that is the Harley. Right there. This is on Dry Meadow Lane and Meadow Ridge Avenue in Oildale. I hope not, Terry. I hope he changes his mind and comes out peacefully. I understand the gentleman may have lost his wife, but that doesn't mean he should give up everything. That's a crisis lady, huh? Yeah. He's coming out. He's coming. There he goes. There he goes, guys. They just shot some pellets in there. He came out, they just shot some pellets or something. Yeah, they're going in, guys. Nope. Must have went back in. He's back inside and beating on his walls again. When he came out the door, it sounded like they fired uh, non-lethal at him, like pellets of some of some sort, and released the dog. And he uh, turned right back around and went in. Sorry about that, guys. It does look like they are approaching the front door now. Weapons are drawn. They are going to the front door. So we're on uh, Dry Meadows, guys, a metal ridge. So they're, uh, they did shoot the little bean back, guys, but he's still begging on the uh, walls, guys. Yeah, it's a speedway right up here.
We are not sure why all the stuff is in the yard. He's still beating on something inside. The officers did remove a propane tank that was over there. And they're removing a chair to get that out of their way. This is a standoff in Oildale in Bakersfield, California. They're trying to talk him out of the house right at the moment. Hopefully this will turn out peaceful and they can get him to come out. We are on Meadow Ridge and Dry Meadow Lane, Lane in Oildale in Bakersfield, California. Thank you, Kat. Yes, Roberta, this is, it's sad. I just hope it turns out peacefully and he comes out with his hands up. Thank you, Charlene. We are new. We're trying to do the best we can. They are watching through the garage to make sure he doesn't come through the garage. And the banging is the police trying to get the door open. Now they have made entry. They are inside the house. Where 
Everything destroyed yours until me and I stopped calling. Thank you, Albert. the suspect coming out right now. There is the suspect. This was peaceful, which was good. So they got the suspect in custody, and uh, that's about it for here. So we thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Make sure you set your notifications, because we can go live at any time. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.